Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do another Friday Reads video. So you guys really seem to like my Friday Reads video that I did last week. I'll have that link down below if you guys would like to check that out. So I'm back to do another one today. And today I have quite a number of books to talk about that I read this past week. Uh, this past week I read a total of six books, mostly because it was the start of Booktubeathon, um, which is this entire week, the 24th through the 30th. Um, and I am so excited to talk about all those books that I read. So I'm going to jump right in and get started. So the first book I have to talk about wasn't actually for Book Tubeathon, but it's called The Disappearances. And it's by Emily Bain Murphy. This is the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of July. And this is a young adult uh, magical realism slash mystery novel. It follows main character Aaliyah, who has just lost her mother, and her father has been drafted into World War II. So her and her brother Miles moved to her mother's small town called Sterling, which is in Connecticut, I believe, uh, and they discovered that this town has kind of been under a curse. Um, every seven years, something disappears from the town. So it started off with stuff like reflections, colors, scents, so on and so forth. So her and her brother tried to discover what's the source of all of this. I really enjoyed this book. I'm not typically not a huge fan of magical realism books, but this one blew me away. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. So, getting into the books that I read for Booktubeathon so far. So, the first one I have to talk about is Truth Witch. This is by Susan Dunard. This is a very well known series here on Booktube. I know it's, a lot of people have talked about it and really, really loved it. It's a young adult fantasy series that involves two best friends who are both witches. One of them is the Truth Witch, which is a very rare and sought after witch, and the other one is a, a Thread Witch, which means you can see the connections between people. Personally, I think this book is a little bit overhyped, in my opinion. I liked it, but I think it could have been a lot better. I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. Um, like I said, wasn't bad, wasn't as good as I had been hyped up to be. I do plan on continuing on with the series, though, because the ending made me want to continue on, so... Hopefully I'll enjoy it as the story goes on and on. The next book I read for Booktubeathon was called Animal Farms. This is by George Orwell. This is a classic dystopian novel that I'm sure most of you guys have read at some point in your life. I actually really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. This is a, like I said, a classic dystopian novel that t involves animals on a farm. It's really, really good. Highly recommend you guys go check this out. The next two books I have to talk about were, I kind of been on a middle grade kick for the past few months, but especially this month, and so I picked up, when I released my TBR video, which I'll also have linked down below, I decided, let's put some middle grade in here. So the first book I have to talk about is called Loki's Well, this is by Kayla Armstrong and M.A. Marr, and first of all, can we talk about this cover? It's absolutely stunning. I just love this cover. This is a... What I can best describe it as is, is a Percy Jackson meets North mythology. I absolutely love this book. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It follows our main character, Matt, who is a descendant of Thor. And him and his two cousins, who are names are Fen and Lori, who are also descendants of Loki, um, go on this adventure to stop the end of the world, pretty much. Like I said, perfect for you guys that are a fan of Rick Riordan's books or just the Percy Jackson series in general. You would really, really like this. And the other book I read that was middle grade was called Earthsea, A Wizard of Earthsea. This is by Ursula K. Lagoon. This is another book with a very beautiful cover. We just talk about that. This is, like I said, a middle grade novel that uh, is a fantasy novel and it involves a wizard. So I expected going into this book that it was going to be a lot like Harry Potter. And it is in some ways because it does have to do with wizards. Um, I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars as well. But it's really, really good. More action adventure than magic based, which is okay. Um, and I do plan on continuing on with this series as well. So those are all the Oh, wait. I have one last book I almost forgot to talk about because I literally just finished this like maybe 20 minutes ago. And that book is City of Ashes. This is book two in the Mortal Witch of this series by Cassandra Clare. This is a very well-known series here on Booktube. I read City of Bones last week. Really enjoyed that. And then I just finished this, like I said, I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I didn't like it as much as I liked City of Bones, but I still enjoyed it really, really well. Um, this is a very well-known YA paranormal series. It involves uh, shadow hunters, which are people who hunt demons. It's really, really good. Highly recommend you guys check this series out. So now we're going to move on to the books I am currently reading. So the first book I'm currently reading 
is another sequel and that is City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I'm listening to this on audiobook. This is a the third book in the Mortal Instruments series. Just go check the series out guys. It's really really good. And the other book that I'm currently reading is The Crowns of Croswell. This is by D.E. Knight. This is a YA um, fantasy series. It's kind of again like Harry Potter. It's got that magical school setting. Um, I'm not that far into it. I'm about 50% into it. So I'm about halfway done. So far so good. Like I said, it's a lot like Harry Potter, so that's probably why I am enjoying it so much. And I will update you guys when I finish that. Now we're going to move on to the books that I plan on reading next. So the next book I'm going to talk about is the last book I have on my TBR for Booktubeathon, and that book is Clockwork Angel, which is the book one in the Inferno the Bison series by Cassandra Clare. This is a spin-off of the Mortal Instruments series, so be really excited to check this out. Hopefully I'll get it done by the end of Booktubeathon. If not, I will read it next month. The next book I have to talk about is one of the my most anticipated releases of this year because I was so excited when I found out this was going to be a thing and that is Because You Love to Hate Me by, this is edited by Emery. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. This is a anthology um, by 13 authors and 13 booktubers and it's all about villains, which I love villains, so sign me up and this is another book with a beautiful beautiful cover so love this cover I'm really excited to talk about this when I finally read it I know this has been getting kind of mixed reviews around booktube but whatever I am definitely excited to read this and then the last book I have to talk about is one book that my other book club which is Lisa's Buddy Reads on Goodreads is run by my friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles. I'll link her channel down below to go check her out. She's amazing. And this book is The Trophy Child by Paula Daly. This is a mystery novel that involves like, a mother who kind of wants her daughter to be like the perfect child, I believe. So I'm excited to check this out. Again, hopefully I'll finish by the end of the month. If not, next month is always a good time. I really like reading mysteries in the uh, late summer, early fall, so definitely excited to check this out. And that is all I have to talk about for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. Also, be sure to check out all the videos that I have linked down below in the description if you guys would like to see those, as well as all my vlogs that I have been doing for Booktubeathon. They are also linked down below if you guys would like to check those out. Also, check me out on all my social media. They are all linked down below. My Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog are all linked down below. As always, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.